So, yep, I'm back. And guess what I'm reviewing today? Yeah, I, I I'm reviewing a Star Wars movie, but which Star Wars movie? You might be asking. You can probably tell from the title of the video, but I'm reviewing the Phantom Menace today. Yes, really. Since Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga um came out like last week, I think. Yeah, last week. I think it'll be the proper time to. To check out the movies as based on, and yes, and yes, I have the game. I have the Han Solo and Carbonite Steel book, and I have, and I have the normal edition. So. And yes, I got the DLC with the Mandalorian, and I found the Mandalorian glitch. But, <laughs> beyond all that, well, the reason why I have been making videos lately is because of that game. I've been trying to get to 100%. Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing The Phantom Menace today. But, but since that movie's all about politics and nearly two hours long, I'm not going to go beat by beat what it is. I'm just going to tell you my thoughts on the movie and what I think is cool about the movie. So, for me, this movie is about... Mm, it's definitely not the best Star Wars movie, but it's definitely not the worst. Um, I would still call it a 6 out of 10 for at least introducing us to Darth Maul. By far one of the best Star Wars characters to ever come out of this film. Cry Gajin. Fucking garbage. Darth Maul. Beast. If you've seen Clone Wars, you know what I mean. But that's pretty much one of the only cool things about the film. All the other things like um, the politics. And... Uh, Oh yeah, do the fates. One of the best lightsaber fights I have ever seen. It's it's like and like Qui Gon Jinn's like and Darth Maul's like except they didn't hit their knees every time they swung the lightsaber. So like um. This film surely is something. But definitely it's boring because of all the politic talk, but other than that, it's it's a good introduction to the next trilogy of prequel movies. It definitely shows you what you're in for. It definitely does. But it just goes to show you that not one person should be in creative control of everything. I'm talking to you, J.K. Rowling. I'm talking to you. She ruined Fantastic Beasts. Anyway, um, I'll get to that when I get to that. So, The Phantom Menace, not really a bad movie not really a good movie just kind of in between um oh obi-wan kenobi um it's hard to see him whiny because in this movie he's all about whining whining and more whining like when no characters introduced he's like are we seriously bringing this person along <laughs> dumb dumb you took away my netflix account dad I mean, he acts like a little child, but I guess he's supposed to be a Padawan, but I don't know if Padawans, I don't know if Padawans are that whiny. No. But, it's a valid introduction to the prequels, and I'll give a slack for, for, um, being, being like, being like the first movie in the prequel trilogy, and, uh, um, 
What was I thinking? Um, and for coming out in 1999, I think. And no, I didn't see the original movie with Puppet Yoda. <sighs> we'll love to see that. But all I have is CGI Yoda. Which ain't that bad. I still like Yoda, but... I wanted to see Puppet Yoda, man. Puppet Yoda. Anyway, um, this movie gets a 6 out of 10 for me. And I know you guys don't watch that long for, for these movie reviews, so I'm going to keep it short this time. And, yeah, that's basically it. What are your thoughts on the movie? And um, tell me what's your favorite part of Star Wars The Phantom Menace in the comments below. Because everyone knows my part, my favorite part of The Phantom Menace, Duel of the Fates. Is that your favorite part too? Who knows, you might actually like the politics scenes. I don't know one person on earth that likes that, but who knows, maybe you'll be one of them. Anyway, tell me your favorite scene from The Phantom Menace down in the comments below. And, um, yeah, hopefully, um, I'll be doing another video today. Um, cause, I might, today I might do all the prequels and just like, and just like, um, pu publish them today. And then tomorrow I might do all, all the original trilogy. Post that, then I might do all of the... Um, secret showed you on Monday, but um, yeah. Um, what did you think of the Phantom Menace? What was your favorite part of the Phantom Menace? And do you think Darth Maul should be should be um in more Star Wars um content or not? So yeah. So yeah, and and um, I hope you enjoyed this um movie monologues on the Phantom Menace and I'll see you guys next time with Attack of the Clones the longest boring piece of crap to be honest most people already forgot about it but I'll see you guys next time with the Clone Army Die Jordy 66 Whitey Can